Hello everyone, my Derby Cyclist here. Lovely. Doing my uh, second Ordex 300k today from Aylesbury all the way to Cotswold. Going down to Buckingham, back down to Aylesbury. Got to finish in 20 hours. This is my setup. So I've got my saddlebag, Telpin saddlebag, which is lovely. And then we've got the light restrap, top tube bag with my battery and uh, my phone and my GoPro battery at the back I've got my uh, pump, tubes, tools, one rain jacket and some food. Let's see how this one goes inshallah, try to complete this one. Okay, early days at the moment, just only a couple of K into the ride. The starting time for this all night was Sadich here with it 6.30 in the morning and uh, you gotta be at the meeting point, the registration point, the Walton Parish Hall in Ellsbury around 6 o'clock I mean you can come after that, it's fine as well. I have to get up at 4.15 in the morning you got to finish in 20 hours, so that will be 2.30 a.m. local time Sunday here in the UK. So you start at 6.30 a.m. on Saturday and you finish by 2.30 a.m. on a Sunday. The route again is a very beautiful route going to, starting from Aylesbury, which is in Buckinghamshire, then going towards Oxford into the Cotswold, I go past that and then going towards Milton Keynes and then coming down to Buckingham and then back down to Aylesbury again finishing next to the Walton Parish Hall almost the same start point and the finish point Hello. Oh, yeah. Lovely bit of barish and cold. I don't even feel like it. So, an update to the progress. Done 106 kilometers so far in 4 hours and 51 minutes with a break of an hour. Oof. So, total elapsed time. About Chigante, six hours. If I continue at this pace, should finish by inshallah in 18 hours total time. So, you've been doing this Ordax for a while then? For a long time, not very successfully though. Uh, how long? Uh, I think this first one. 2012. I wonder why I do it sometimes. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's good to get out. Oh yeah. How I mean you? today, it's meant to be June and it's meant to be sunny, but it's not. Oh no, it's pretty miserable today. It's Mind you, it hasn't rained, does it? It has, well, there was a bit of a drip, a drizzle, but not too bad. But this wind is too much. My channel is called Punjabi Cyclist. Okay, so I'm getting completely confused. It's definitely you. Really sucking the energy out. <laughs> Completely sucking my energy out. Can't get any momentum at all. Been losing my average speed from 24k plus miles per hour to down to under 21 now. Really getting sucked by this wind and these climbs tip for next time is to search on Google Maps the control points like the co-op shops or the coffee shop where you need to get the receipt or ATM because Kamu and buy computers even though they've done the route with the waypoints 
still doesn't do the business. Already lost, I'll say about an hour. Time-wise, just missing control points or not finding them. There's one information point which I was meant to answer the question but I couldn't find it so I just forgot it I just thought forget it let's carry on I've given it my best shot after having a good night's sleep and plenty of Kana Shana and Chasha feeling a bit more focused and alert to give you guys an update on how my 300k ride went so the ride was going pretty fine i was keeping a good pace of 22 kilometers per hour average speed or 13 miles per hour which was good enough to complete the ride in a good time however when i got to because most of the ride is in rural, rural areas difficult to find the control points and um, so i missed a couple I went past a few so which resulted in me going back again other than that I did miss a, miss my uh, did go off course for a bit which wasted another 20 minutes of my time I need to uh, learn to focus my mind for a longer period of time even though in total I cycled about in total lapse time was 20 20 hours just over 20 hours the things that kept me awake was my caffeine electrolytes as well as my caffeine gels so which was great I took those with me otherwise I definitely would have hit the bench and gone to sleep or slept at a bus stop which would have not have been nice and every saman we chori jana si the main bhi thode bhai jana sir but anyway koi baat nahi as I was getting close to the finishing line in Aylesbury I think I had about another 20k to go my wahoo bike my wahoo computer on the map screen froze the flipping thing kanjer would not move from that map screen it just stuck the navigation the, the ride was being recorded and i didn't want to do a factory reset but anyway so i kept going kept going i was feeling really cold proper soggy proper wet I got to Aylesbury town as soon as I saw the getting into the Aylesbury town the uh, street lights were there and then cycled I quickly found my way to the car park thank god my car park puja ma shukar alhamdulillah kita got to the car park proper menu sadi I was shivering I had to quickly change my sh uh, cycling shoes take them off I had, a, I had my other normal trainers and socks fresh ones put them on get rid of all my wet clothing Oy, I, I was so glad to get to my gaddi. I got there at 3.15 a.m. Missed by 45 minutes uh, the finishing line. But at that point, once once Barish on Lapina heavy rain and my Wahoo map uh, started screwing up, I thought, forget it. I just want to get to the finishing line. I don't know. I don't care if I make it or don't make it. The time, I need to just get to my car park, get to my gaddi. Gaddi kol pojo jaldi jaldi. But I really need to focus on you know where the control points are use google maps if i have to make sure my cleats are clean and tie turned also i need to focus on spinning up the climbs rather than grinding up the climbs i think all those bobby and buddy uh, they're really good over even though they're 55 60 65 plus they're really good at spinning up so i need to focus on spinning up i know i've given a, a very long summary at the end uh, but hopefully it's useful and uh, please subscribe and like and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching